Hi guys, <clears throat> so this is a quick little tutorial on how to um, pull out clips. So I'm just going to pick randomly pick one of these. There's no video attached. You see, it's noticed it's in red. So I'm just going to add any random video. I think I've got some. Yeah, oh yeah, some rugby videos in here. So I'll just add. I'll add one of these. Uh, the select video is a different name. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. This is just for the example. Okay. So that's not linked. So how we get you is I'm going to go back to my home quickly. So you're going to my analysis. Okay. Select your game from here. Double click it. That's going to open up into the viewing matrix. So yeah, we can view all our events. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, the first one, so I can I can select Ruck, and then from here, I can just simply click on this button and export the clip. So just remember, when you export the clips automatically, it's going to use this preset times that you've set or that I've set. So if we remember on our data validation sheet, which I'll open up quickly, on our data validation sheet, we set... I've, I've got all the preset times, the pre and post times in here. Okay, so, oh, uh, so let's go. Um, export panel. Here we go. There's the times. Okay, you can also find the times in the definitions. Yeah, I've also set the, put the pre and post times in there. <laughs> all right, so... If you want to simply pull out, let's do something a little bit more simple. So, rack distribution pod. Okay, obviously these clips aren't relevant, but it's going to automatically by clicking the little that little uh, I don't know what you call that thing. Um, you can set your quality here. I would leave it standard at uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, there's some more settings insert chapters that would obviously be at all the different events i wouldn't do that process audio so you can use the audio from the video or you can add an external audio uh, you can in include text so when you include text it will show the category name so it will literally say rack distribution, rack distribution pod you can show notes if you've added any notes and the descriptor so we'll do all of those and then let's overlay the text at the bottom I'm going to click the save and produce. I'll just show you again. So there's the save and produce button. I can close the settings if I want. Click save and produce. Okay, and we're just going to save this to my desktop. And it's that simple. So that's... Uh, is that done already? Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so that's rendering the video. Okay, so now I've said I want to open. So now you'll see when I play this video, you'll see at the bottom it gives me the category name the and the descriptors attached to that category. And then any notes would also appear on the video. All right, this video is obviously now finished, so don't worry too much. But there you can see it's running through all the different categories and descriptors. Now another way you can do this is... From, so not from this window. You can pretty much do it from anywhere. So if I open up um, a dashboard, for example, um, if we've created a dashboard, um, these dashboards I think are fairly working, but I can click here and then this will also bring it all up. Um, but from this window, you won't, you, know, you won't be able to make your video. Um, but that's just another place where you can come and view and edit um so it's alternative way to doing it like this is to go to your matrix so let's say for example um you wanted a specific player's clips okay and the player is a descriptor so let's say let's use another example i want all the clips in zone a all right I can't get that from here because these are listed as categories. Likewise, with our when we do our individual codes, they are listed 
uh, the categories will be listed here and the descriptors will be listed elsewhere so we open up our matrix okay and in the matrix here you can see all the descriptors listed okay so there's a couple of ways you can let me blow this up so there's a couple of ways so if I go to if we want all the A events all right sorry if we want all the A events okay I can probably click there or I can go right to the bottom and here's 30 I can click 30 and that will bring that all up positive events and here's all I events so that's a couple of ways yeah I can take all the racks or I can take only the racks from zone A only the racks from zone B Rack distribution uh, 10 I could take only the positives or only the negatives um, yeah this gives you a little bit more freedom and then likewise with how we did the other one so if we go let's take out all our handling areas which is this one okay I'm gonna click I'm gonna cl I clicked on that that shows me the list of clips here at the top okay and then yeah we follow the same process we click there we customize it as as we want I'm gonna show this information again um, we could even insert an image top right let's see what this looks like um, I actually haven't tried this uh, pictures so let's check that in one in the picture size may be too big okay all right so it probably is too big but let's see what this looks like um, insert so split files split files I'm assuming that's going to make individual clips, <coughs> which, if needed, you could use. Okay, and let's save and produce, and then let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's going to look t terrible. <laughs> So obviously they put the picture at the start, but as you can see, that is um, that's why they warned that the pixels were wrong. So if you'd want to put in the picture, you'd need to make sure the pixels are right. So you could use something like um, uh, there's online picture editing softwares where you can just upload your picture. Um, You used to Pixart. Uh, I used to use Pixlr. Yeah, Pixlr is quite good. Yeah, you can open images. You can open any image you want. Um, who was that picture? Yeah. And then you can set the dimensions of your canvas. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. So there's the dimensions there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through that now, but if you wanted to, you can get around it. Okay, so let's open. Let's see what this looks like. We know that that's going to look. It's going to look horrible, but that's fine. So there we got the information again, and this is all our handling errors. All right. Okay, and that's it, gents. It's that simple. Very, very, very straightforward.